In this video, we're going to use ChatGPT to see if it can do Roblox commissions and earn me Robux. So before we ask ChatGPT anything, the first thing we need to do is set up our tool. This person has decided to remain anonymous, however, here's them sending me the file. So inside this flashlight, we have a few things like the click sound and the part that actually has a light in it. And the main thing is this handle right here, which you need to make sure the player is holding correctly. So for that, I'm going to be using this plugin called Tool Grip Editor. The flashlight looks okay, but I'm just going to move it out a little bit more. I decided to keep it a little bit in the middle like this. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and ask ChatGPT to make a script that turns the light on and off. We also need to make sure that the script plays the click sound when the player presses F. Alright guys, now that I'm in chat GPT, I'm gonna go ahead and give it the instructions. Alright guys, I finished typing out the instructions, I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. Looks like the AI is starting the script. Let's see what it does. It's going well so far, it has the sound and it's making sure the flashlight is off by default. It's also creating a function that looks like it's going to work perfectly. It looks like the script is going to work, let's go ahead and put it into studio. I'm gonna create a brand new script and paste in the code. Let's go ahead and try it out. One thing that we have to do is make sure these parts are not anchored. Now that they're unanchored, I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. But before that, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's dark. Now let's go ahead and hit play. It looks like the light isn't working when I press F. Let's go ahead and see what the problem is. I'm gonna try debugging it by adding a print statement right here. As you can see, when I press F, nothing happens. Let's go ahead and fix that by using user input service. So right here at the top, I'm gonna add a variable for UIS. This is gonna be for user input service. Now that we have the variable, let's go ahead and do this part again. So basically what I'm doing right here is making sure that the player is not typing in chat. Now let's go ahead and check if the key they pressed is F. If input.ecode equals equals enum.ecode.f then toggle flashlight. I'm gonna comment out this code and let's try this out. Now that we're in the game, I'm gonna press F. As you can see, the light is working. However, the click sound that I have isn't the best. Let's go ahead and change it. I just realized that I wasn't recording desktop audio, but let's go ahead and find a click sound. I'm going to try searching for flashlight click instead. I like this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. I'm going to name it click, delete the old one, and put this one in. Now that the click sound is in, I do want to brighten up the spotlight a little bit, so I'm just going to increase the brightness. Let's use one and hit play. Now that we're in, I'm going to press F, and we can hear the sound. I also like how bright the flashlight is. Let's go ahead and see what he thinks of it. Okay guys, so he just messaged me and said that I should make a click, so we're just going to change it to a click. Let's ask ChatGPT to change it to a click instead of pressing F. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to make it so it works when you click instead of pressing F. Let's see what it does. I'm going to go ahead and copy the code and see what it does. Let's go ahead and replace all of this code with a new one and hit play. For some reason, the way the AI is finding the mouse isn't working, let's go ahead and use our own way. I'm just going to create a variable for the mouse, so local mouse equals game dot players dot local player colon get mouse. Now let's just go ahead and get rid of this part of the code and let's go ahead and try it out. Okay guys, it looks like it is working, let's go ahead and see what he says. The problem with this flashlight is that it's not going to be shown for everyone, only the person who turns it on. That means other players in the game are not going to be able to see my flashlight. Now this is a pretty big issue, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that. But since this video is getting kind of long right now, I'm going to go ahead and end it off. So if this video was kind of entertaining for you guys, go ahead and hit like and subscribe to the channel to show me your support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.